This is going to be a possible long one too. <laughs> Mainly because uh, I don't normally do colorful eye makeup on my face anymore because I am 35 and I have fallen into that generalization mentality of I look really stupid with blue, purple, and green eyeshadows on my face. <laughs> but because I want to have fun here on the U Tizzle, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're, this is happening. This is this is legit. So um, come on in, enjoy the fun, and uh, let me put on some moisturizer on my face because it's feeling a little not moisturized. Oh, you know what? I got some serum. So I'm throwing out some serum all right now. This is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. Mmm. Which is heavily fragranced. It smells really good, but man, that's a lot of fragrance in a serum. I'm gonna do two pumps because I never use this shit. Hmm. Person was like super fragrant. I'm kinda like, oh man. I don't know about that, but it's okay. Get, get up in here. Get up in this neck. Oh, yes. Serums, oh, a great base for anything on your face. It soaks into your pores so much more. I should have done that first, but it's okay. Um, the molecule of a serum is a lot smaller than a moisturizer, so it penetrates the skin a lot deeper. But then the moisturizer is good to get that outer layer of the skin. Keep it soft, nice and pretty. So I'm using Bobbi Brown's face base with my hair. Obviously my hands are clean. I don't think I have to say that <laughs> nowadays. I've been in my house for like three weeks now. I've been home so much this year. Jesus Christ. <sighs> So, excuse my bangs, they're, they're looking a little, like, right now. Eye makeup. Okay, so, um, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I do not wear colors on my eyes anymore, and if I do, it's just to have fun on Instagram. You know, like, I'll post an eye photo, but that's about as far as it gets. I don't wear it out in public, so... Um, and I also feel like because I have this new hairstyle on, it's kind of like, oh crap, it's not the hairstyle to have like these like colorful eyes, but we're here. Let me put on some music. Excuse me, because in the background for me, it's pretty dead and I don't like straight up silence. I feel like I have to talk lower and like people are listening. It's weird. I get paranoid by that. So I have to have music in the background. And unfortunately I have to do royalty free because this is YouTube. Okay, so what colors am I gonna do? If you're here, type in the chat box, say hello. You're more than welcome to ask questions about makeup or anything of the sort. Um, I have pulled out some colorful eyeshadows from Cosette, which, hi, I'm from, um, why am I blanking? California. Um, I'm, I'm going to avoid doing blue because I did a dark blue yesterday. So I feel like doing blue again is kind of a cop out. Um, I'd like to do purple and stuff, but every now and then my eyes start to freak out with reds and purple eyeshadows. Purple more specifically, but I want this to be very colorful. So what am I gonna do? Let's look, let's look up some colorful eye makeup, shall we? Set this down. What's some good makeup looks out there? Whoopsies. Sorry. Colorful eye makeup. Because right now my brain is like, no. Well, that's okay. Does not want to think about anything right now. <laughs> oh, you know what? There was this one look that one of my, eventually she became my Mac, um, co-worker 
and she did this look on me. Oh my God, I had to have been maybe like 18 or something, 19. And I loved it so much, I used to do it all the time. Do I remember how this works? She did green, blue, no. Oh man, okay, I think I, I think she did this green, pink, and blue eye look, and it was so awesome. And I just now I'm starting to blink at how she executed it. I think it was like the blue on the inside. Fuck, do I have that photo? Mm. If you guys can think of colors, let me know in the chat box. Do I have that photo? I wonder if it's in my Facebook. Because sometimes I have like old photos in my Facebook. Just throw out some colors and then I could try to like put them all together. Because right now like coming up with the whole look is like a thing. I probably should have done this before I went live. I'm very sorry for those of you who are watching this on the replay. You're probably like, Jesus Christ, Lana. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going, I'm looking through my uh, <clears throat> throwback album because I have some old photos in my throwback album and um, my friend who's a nurse keeps telling me these horror stories about people who have been tested positive for coronavirus <clears throat> and they are still going out and about in public. Here it is. Here's the look. Oh, that's not it. Fuck. Although she did do that makeup too. Um, tested positive for coronavirus and has been out shopping and doing things and visiting people and their symptoms were like the common cold. It wasn't like a flu. So when he got the call saying that he tested positive, he was like, oh, I should probably go home then, huh? Where are you, sir? Out and about. We're never going to get out of this, basically. <laughs> so, you know, that's fun. Stay your ass home, please. Oh my god, now is not the time to be going to fucking parties with your friends. <laughs> just treat it like everybody has the fucking virus. We can just be on our damn way. Oh, Bumsville. I thought I had it. Son of a bitch. I thought the photo that I thought it was had a different makeup look, and it doesn't. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to do what I think is in my head. But maybe just brighten it up a bit. So I'm going to do yellow, green, blue until someone says to do something else. Right? Right, okay. Primer it up. I'm gonna use, if I can find it, the 24 hour extended eye base by MAC Cosmetics. I feel like when you're not young, and full of love and hope and excitement. It can look a little cray. You gotta have that confidence to sport a very colorful eye makeup look. Right now, I don't have that confidence. <laughs> Here we go. Don't wanna do that though. Not really. I'm kind of looking at like peacocky. Maybe like a light blue to a teal to a purple. Yeah, peacocky. No one is saying anything to me. You guys are in here, but you guys are dead silent, which is really fucking weird. So I'm going to just pretend as if you're responding and say peacocky, peacock, shall we? Let me Google images of a peacock. Okay, so we've got this dude right here. Lurking is rude. I know, right? Fuck. Say something. Please, for the love of God. Maybe I should maybe I should do the word tropical because I'm seeing in my palette right here I have a lot of purple, even though I know purple is gonna make my eye freak out. Um uh I have a lot of like I have teals and I have purples and they're standing out to me like so much right now and I kind of want to use that. There's a nice little pretty photo. Ooh, vibing, right? 
because here's the colors that I'm seeing in my palette that look super pretty and I'm like oh I should probably use these so I'm gonna base my look around these two colors and this sort of faded yeah hmm Yells. I like very troppy troppy trops okay let's just let's just get started shall we let me plug this one back in because it's gonna die oh Um, when it comes to this stuff, honestly, I'm sure there are different ways to place your eyeshadows. I'm sure there are techniques and things like that. Honestly, I just like to go with the flow and I just wing it um, because it's not some editorial look. I'm not here trying to show you how to accurately do an eye makeup look that is, you know, professionally act you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say I'm just having fun so if you are a makeup artist and you're like is this what you have to do for it? no <laughs> absolutely not I'm just here throwing out some colors and seeing where it goes from there um when it comes to doing like editorial and things like that there's thought behind it there's process there's a whole list of things that I'm not doing so just want to get that out there okay we just fucking playing around because they ain't nothing else to do today So don't come for me. Sorry, I'm cleaning out some of these brushes. All right. And in my head, I'm starting to prep. I'm like, how? Maybe if I did, this color is also standing out to me. It's kind of a blue. So I'm thinking if I did something like this on my eyes. like I don't want to do the traditional the reason why I'm, um, it's hard for me to sort of like get started is because I don't want to go from the blue to the green in the crease to purple I feel like it's kind of like mm, it's not really where I want it to be so let me start with a neutral shade in my upper crease area and I think that might get us started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cool toned brown if I find one, just so I can, actually let's, let's try this one. This one might be a little bit too light, but this one here is called Kingston, it's by NARS. And I'm gonna take a brush and apply this right above my crease area just so I have something there, some sort of shadow and depth. So when I do this eye makeup look, it's not going to be insane for me. I have to have a little bit of like a neutral base to work off of. Otherwise, I'm like, what is on my eyes right now? You know, I'm not doing an event. I'm not, you know, going to any place. So doing this look on, my, on its own for me is kind of like, Like I don't want to do a halo at the same time either. A halo look, but that would also be really cool. Fuck, that would be kind of cool to do a halo effect. I always do that though. It's so predictable for me. Okay. So if you're having troubles, if you want to play with eyeshadows and you're having trouble, a lot of fun that you could do is also swipe the colors on your hand so you can see them and how they turn out. Sometimes this works for me too. 
as far as placement goes so that I can see you know these are just like quick swatches um like how I would want them to lay on my face so I'm thinking let's do I actually really had trouble with this one. Why? Why am I blanking out so hard? Okay. I'm gonna attempt something. Let's see how this yellow works. Hang on. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm gonna try something. So I'm gonna start with the yellow, and I'm going to apply this to my eyelid. If this looks really fucked up, I apologize. I'll use this mirror. I'm taking this just a small little brush and patting on this yellow shape. I have not done character work, color work, anything like that in so long. I have been working in television doing male grooming recently. And so my actual like practice and using my uh, creativity has been just shot to zero so that's why I'm having a little bit of you know issue getting started with a colorful makeup look because it's been a very long time since I've done it and if you do not practice your work you don't practice your artistry you, you do start to lose it a bit so Clearly, I need to get back in my routine of doing fun, crazy looks. The thing is, is that I just haven't been inspired to do so. And that's just the honest truth. Okay. I'm gonna need a smaller brush for this, so I'm gonna take a I might have to go into my kit and pull out some brushes because I don't think I have the right the right ones. I'm looking for a very smaller, like a small-ish. Might work. So pointy. It may leave too much of a streak, but let's try. Try this one actually. This is the Mac, the 224, I think it is, or the 226. I don't even remember. It's all like buffed out anyway. All right, so this is sort of thinner. I'm gonna go with this pointy one, the one that comes to a tip. It may leave a stripe, but I hope not. So I'm gonna get into the teal shade first. And I'm sort of mm, blotting it on, you know, so I'm pressing it in, but also doing a very slight swipe of, I don't want to say blending because I'm, I'm blending it, but at the same time, I'm kind of not, I'm just like letting the color place where it's placing. I'm sweeping it, I guess, but I am adding a bit of pressure just to get that color a little bit more opaque. <laughs> I'm 
I'm stretching my eye out a little bit too, that's gonna help. Skip this ad. How's everyone doing so far? Like, holding up? Who's cleaned their house? Who has de like uh, decluttered, organized? Let me know in the chat box. What have you done? Have you done anything? Or have you done jack shit during this uh, quarantine times? Let's get a conversation started in this chat box because this is really fucking creepy. <laughs> Have people just watching. Okay. Got a little towel here, so it might be not off. I'm gonna get into the purple. Um, these are Cosette eyeshadows, my, by the way. Um, the one I was just using is Mystic. The yellow is called Rise. And then I'm gonna jump into Vision, which is a really beautiful purple. Sometimes makes my eye water like crazy. It's just because I personally have an issue with purples. So, pray for me. I love Cosette eyeshadows. They are some of the easiest eyeshadows to work with. I'm getting like Mardi Gras vibes from this. Are you?
Yeah, I don't know. I think this is from yesterday. I already feel this part of my eye a little sensitive. I think it's because, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like messing around with my eyes too much. really great practice for me too because it's been so long since I've messed with colors you don't realize it too you don't realize how fast the time goes by and you're like holy shit when was the last time I've played with makeup like when was the last time I couldn't tell you like this I mean you know like mm -hmm. can I tell you no not like this Mainly because I'm just too tired. When I get home from work, I'm just like, nope, good night. I travel so much for a living. And when I'm home, the last thing I want to do is leave my house. That's really funny because now that I can't leave my house, I'm like, can I please leave? Go somewhere, please. Um, I'm debating about using purple underneath my eyes, but in the interest of trying to save this from looking like a Mardi Gras look, um, thinking about using a completely different color. Actually, let's bring it up, why not? I blended this side out too far. Mason? No, kitty. Mm -hmm. For a kid is worried about mom talking to herself. For a kid wants to get into the closet, see how it's slightly open? He likes to get in there and hide. Not really hide, but just mess around in there. And it's because I'm not paying attention to him that he's doing this. He wants to scratch everything inside the closet. And not really scratch, he's paws at everything. Paw, 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 paw. I'm just like, oh my God. Could you not please? about this 
is very Mardi Gras. Holy shit, I did not expect it to look so that. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some orange because this is very, um, I personally am not a fan of the Mardi Gras color scheme. <laughs> Like the color combos. I mean, this is cool, but it's just like, it reminds me so much of Mardi Gras. And like, I joke around saying that Mardi Gras is like, the colors is like the ugliest color <laughs> combination. At least these are like, this is a jewel tone teal. But still, I'm just not a fan. Um, so, I'm gonna use a small brush to pack on some sort of like, I feel like once it starts, can't come back from that. Orange. We're doing colorful, right? Am I going to regret this? I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy. I apologize. Well, I, I can't help you right now. I, but I can't. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong. You know, I should do it since I'm already here. I may as well just do the blue mixed in with the teal. We're already here, so let's just make this rainbow, shall we? <laughs> Use all the colors. Oh, but do I have an electric blue? That's what I want. If I'm going to do it on the other side, I need an electric blue. I don't think I have one. Not present. Where do I have a blue? I don't want to have to get up to go find one. I have a blue, you guys. Damn it. Ugh. None of this has a blue. Nope. 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 All of my palettes. Everything. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Blue isn't exactly. Oh, the Bright Lights palette. Oh, I found that right here. That might be too white. Hi! This has a lot of white in it. It may not be. Uh, let me try the Bright Lights palette. Let me see what that looks like. I forgot I had that palette. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, come in, please. Everybody, grab a seat. Enjoy yourselves. We are here having a good time with makeup. I do have a Bright Lights palette. I totally forgot. This is by Pinky Rose. 
There it is. Ah, oh, it's pretty white too. I need, I need like that. What I'm looking for is like this rich blue, like a good seawater, like an electric eel by Mac, but not electric eel. So maybe I should just leave it. I feel like, I feel like if I were to fuck with it, I'd be very, very pissed if it didn't turn out the way I'd, want, I'd hoped it to. I'd hope it would. I don't have the Urban Decay palette. I have the color that I'm thinking of, but it's like in my back stock and I just like, I don't want to get up to go get it. I'm really lazy. I don't want to get up to go get it. <laughs> so, um, I'll come back to that. I can always add the color later. Underneath my eye, however, uh, still feel like I want to bring out that purple. I'm going to regret it because I can tell my eye's going to cry like crazy, but for the sake of doing a fun, colorful eye look, I will do it for you. I'm gonna regret this so bad. So, I'm gonna take some of this 24 hour eye base, and underneath my eye, add this. I know that's true. It's not like I'm going anywhere, so <laughs> I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about feeling terrible after this. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take a. No. I don't want to blend this out too much. I think uh, I kind of want to. I'm gonna take it slow a little bit. Here we go. This one. This guy. I'm gonna take it easy. So let's see how this looks. So I'm gonna go back into the Cosette Vision shade and connect. Oh God, my poor eye. It's like, are you are you sure you want to do this? Ah oh, yes. So if you see skipping going on here, it's because my eye is like, no bitch, this is purple. Nope, absolutely not. This color is so pretty. It's already red. You see the redness right there? The little red patch right there? That's irritation, folks. <laughs> that sensitivities. Or it could just be fallout. Let's hope it's fallout. Can you tell I'm paranoid? I'm just like uber paranoid about possibly making my eyes swell. Then why are you doing this? Because it's fun. Who cares? What, are, what am I ever going to use these fucking colors? And they're going to go bad before I even get a chance to play with them, so I guess we'll just fucking do it. go back into this like reddish orangey pinky shade that I use.
have everything underneath my eye later. Later. So that's so weird. Okay. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow because it's that's what's calling my my nature. That's what's calling my vibes. Dear Teal, I do not need you right in there. Thank you. How's everyone handling it? I know, right? It's so quiet in here. It's so awkward. It's like, please say something. <laughs> what is this thing? Um, I'm handling things a little bit better. I, there's been a moment where I nearly lost myself, but I don't know what and I don't know how, but I was able to come out, out of it. But there was a moment where I'm like, Oh man, I missed the whole look. Colorful eyeshadow tends to scare me. I don't know why. Shit scares everybody. Ow, you should have seen me before I got started on this. I was terrified. I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> And I was like, I need to stop before I even get started. So um, a lot of it does have to do with personality. You know, if you got the gusto to wear this no matter what, hey, wear it, you know? This is the perfect time to master it, yeah. looks awesome and you're such a boss you can pull it off <laughs> thank you i mean can i pull it off no i am on camera so it looks insanely awesome but is it just insane in real life quite possibly <laughs> mm. <laughs> i'm gonna take this lighter green it is called gardo and I'm gonna um, mess with this like blend that's happening up here that I'm not really satisfied with. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to sort of place it and see if it makes a difference. Just to, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but I know that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to fill in a bit of the blend. See how it's sort of weird? I wanted it to be a bit more dense, which is exactly what I did. Need. Again, because that eyeshadows, oh, they're so easy to work with. I don't know why I just only simple going to the grocery store look. Yes, one hundred percent. I gotta go to the bank. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better. <sighs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing until I'm actually doing it, then I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, a little more dense of the green. You might be handed 
You might be handed TP if you make enough people feel uncomfortable, right? I kind of start making a big scene. I'm actually good on TP. I'm so excited. My mom brought me a, a big old bushel of TP. I was like, I don't need all this, but <laughs> but uh, I now don't have to leave my house for toilet paper, which is exciting. I mean, I still have to leave my house when I run out of food. Like I'm kind of running low on shit, but I'm not gonna leave my house until it's absolutely vital. Because fuck that. Have you seen how they do testing for, for coronavirus, for COVID-19? Have you seen the test itself? Fuck that. They take a swab, you know those super duper long cotton swabs, and they shove it up your nose all the way up, fucking touching your brain and shit. Well, not that far, but like it's really high. And they're in there for like, what is it, like 30 seconds or something, or a few seconds? I saw it, I saw it live. I was like, nope, nope. I don't want that to happen to me, so. Nope. 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 Don't want that test. Nope. Absolutely the fuck not. You're not going to go in the back of my throat. Absolutely the fuck not. Nope. They have no delivery spots left in your area. Delivery spots? What do you mean? Like food delivery? So, there we go. It's a little less Mardi Gras-y. <laughs> like time slots for delivery. Oh, are they completely staffed up? I mean, not like overwhelmed? Like Postmates and stuff and DoorDash? Okay, let's do some face. Put this aside. Today is brush cleaning day. I'm gonna clean all my brushes. And then I'm also, once I'm done with those brushes, I'm gonna go in and do another clean in my kit brushes. They're all clean already. However, um, I'm just gonna clean them again because I feel like it's the safe thing to do. <laughs> Though they don't need to be, but I'm gonna do it. Clean them again. And once they're clean, I'm gonna clean them again. What was it, what's that quote from? Test it again. When they're done testing, test it again. And when they're done testing, test it again. Outbreak. <laughs> What do I use to clean my brushes? I, I use a lot of things. Um, I prefer, I enjoy using the uh, Linen Brush Company brush shampoo. Um, and um, sometimes when I want to go in and get a good, like, disin not disinfecting, but like a good, like, uh, yeah, disinfecting. Ooh, what does that soap say? I think I'm, I'm saying that incorrectly. Not disinfecting. I don't want to get the words all, don't quote me on the words, but anyway, I'll use the Beauty Blender um, Solid Pro, the black Beauty Blender soap, because that one really gets in and just cleans everything out. Um, so yeah, I'll do that and then have fun with it. But I love, 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 love the uh, Linen Brush Company soap for my brushes. It's the tits. Uh, but honestly, any soap works to clean your brushes because they nasty. <laughs> When you kill the germs, I know I get it mixed up all the time. Sanitizing, disinfecting, and sterilization. It's not sterile. It's disinfecting. There you go. Phew. Jesus Christ. Um, I believe this is the one that is the 3.20. Agree. You should make a brush cleaning video. I, I use dish soap, vinegar, and hot water. Okay. That might be very drying on your brushes. So I, um, it'd be very drying, that dish soap. Cause not formulated to condition the brush head. Cause if you have, especially when you have natural brush hairs, it can break the fibers or it can break the hair. Um, and the fibers start to get a little stiff. So I just recommend using an actual brush cleanser because it's formulated in the way to protect them and condition them after they've cleaned, uh, cleaned them off. This is why I like the, the um, the brush cleaner but what you're doing is also um pretty uh, if you're using like a natural dish soap and stuff you know like eco-friendly one if it's the eco-friendly way you're trying to go 100 percent. yes i agree with you um you know what i like to do sometimes is spritz a little alcohol on them i know it's so drying 
but um, what I like to do is like when I go to like deep clean my brushes, I'll spritz some 70% alcohol after they're clean alcohol. And then once the alcohol is like set in, I fucking wash them again. And that way I can get that condition back in there. <laughs> Just because I like that extra of uh, whatever, you know? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, my boobs look so hot, you can't even see them. not as easy to block as it is on Periscope. Um, bounce. How do I... Oh, thank you, Friday Ketchup. How do you, how do you like, block somebody? I'm not to go in and block you, dude. Sorry. Sorry guys for watching the replay. I have a, I have a troll. Thanks for the tip. I'll try the alcohol. <laughs> you know, just make sure you, <laughs> alcohol is gonna fucking destroy them if you don't take care of them. You know, it's gonna break them down. Talk about hardening the bristles. Yikes. Yikes. Just be careful, okay? <laughs> Those brushes are expensive. We gotta take care of them. And cleaning is a way to take care of your brushes. So I'm gonna, I have a wet beauty blender here. Wet. Always, 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 always use a wet bloody bloody blender. Oh my god. Beauty blender. Creepy. Um, they are not designed to be used dry. So make sure you're using them wet. <laughs> had to break this off this like this thing because it was running low and then honestly like in the very beginning this is such a I love this little psh, 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 and you could just use this if you wanted to I know I don't use an actual palette palette but when it runs low this is a bitch to get product out of and I'm like okay I don't like that so just break it apart just so you can get into the, the remaining of the product Okay, so let's get in here. Oh, this is 325? Oh shit, this is, I think this is 325, not 320. Why am I getting Russian ads on my YouTube? Oh no, it totally sounded Russian in the back of my head. Holy shit. That guy's accent was thick. <laughs> I thought he was speaking Russian. Holy shit. I need to they need to make it so you can get every last drop yep and that goes for like every damn company right am I right I'll have to fix this line right here so it's symmetrical um am I right, right? Uh oh it's crying How is this royalty free? Isn't this an actual song? One last time to read to me the love you I don't know the words. Isn't that, doesn't that sound like, what is that, what's that song by? High end brands, I know. Ariana Grande? Yes, thank you. Doesn't this song sound like it? How is this royalty free? Mm -hmm. Just saying. Maybe the song itself is royalty free because like not the actual track. I don't even think it is that track, but it sort of does sound like it a lot.
Change three notes, maybe. So bullshit. If I get demonetized, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I should probably just switch it just in case because I don't trust this. Even though I'm sure that track specifically is not like it is a royalty free track. I'm just not going to take any chances because record labels be crazy lately. Like, calm down. <laughs> I'm vibing with this look. Why is it that this look, right? This look gave me less trouble than yesterday's look when it was just a fucking bluish, dark, smoky eye. Wow. <laughs> Perhaps it's the eyeshadows. Because if you were using, what did I use? What blue did I use? NARS, and it gave me trouble. Hmm. I never have trouble with Cosette, ever. Just play some Mozart, I know, right? Four minutes from cat breakfast, holy heck, cranky kitty, oh shit. That cat was like, it's four minutes, get started early. <laughs> oh, stop, don't tear up, please. Oh my God. So full of ads today. Just trying to use up whatever's left on my palette. You guys, I have to do laundry. I don't know, you're probably like, okay. My laundry facility here at the complex is so expensive. So expensive. It ends up being $5 for a wash and dry per load and the machines are like this big so it's not even a full load it's like a half a load so I usually go to the laundromat to clean my damn clothes but like essentials are only open <laughs> I don't know if laundromats are considered essential I feel like they are however do I really want to go to a laundromat right now let me be that that gift guy, that face. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on some concealer. Maybe a lot of bit here. I gotta clean that shit up. There we go. I hope that's just eyeshadow. But I've been very tired lately. I whose whose sleeping patterns have been just rocked. My sleeping pattern fucking sucks now. Wash the essentials in the sink. Oh, fucking brilliant! I could even load up my tub. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I always feel weird practicing my makeup. I feel like I don't want to use product if I'm not going to see anyone, right? But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want people to see me without practicing. It's a, it's a horrible spot to be in, but I feel you. I promise you though, that, you know, or here's a, here's a way to kind of defeat that. Like with eyeshadows, you know, when you're using colors that you don't normally use, they're not going to, they're not going to waste away, right? But with foundations and stuff, just go out to CVS or something and get a cheap found, you know what? Here, get a, a basic ass foundation. This is by uh, LA Girl. If you have this brand near you, snag it. Cause this is a really decent foundation for drugstore. And it's like $11, I think. Um, and CVS, you know how they're always having sales, like 40% off and they'll have like extra bucks. You know those long ass receipts that they give you? If you spend X amount on cosmetics, they'll give you $5 back, you know, things like that. They always have sales. And, and coming from a girl who you, who's an ex-couponer, CVS is the place to go when you want to get a really good fucking deal. I've gotten so many free mascaras, so many free lashes. So I still try my best to coupon at CVS. So 
do that and then use that when it comes to practicing. That way when it comes time to using your actual product, you feel a bit more familiar with the makeup process and then you don't feel like, you know, you going out in public is spoiled, you know? So this is a close-up look. I, I'm not trying to get too close because I don't want to stain my beauty blender. But yeah, go out and get, you know, product that you don't care about wasting so much. That way you can practice with that. And then when you get the real stuff, you're like, damn, the real stuff is even better, you know? <laughs> the awkward moment of CVS makeup is my normal makeup. <laughs> I know, like, well, bitch, I'm like, start using that. Listen, I use LA Girl. I'm not right now, but you see it in my in my stash, don't you? When I just want to run out to the store, and when I'm not on Periscope and, and YouTube doing makeup tutorials and stuff, when I'm not doing those things, I use LA Girl. Bitch, I'm not going out in YSL. To the grocery store. The fuck I'm not. The fuck I am. Shit. <laughs> no, I am not. I will use the cheap stuff because mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. you're cute. So I'm gonna take a clean brush. Do you have one, Lana Reese? Yes, I do. A clean brush. And I'm just gonna get in there. Just to get rid of any excess buildup, should there be any. There we go. So now, I need to switch that drawer. I'm going to take my Rocky Cosette and, I haven't used this bad boy in a while, this little, this little powder puffy. Place that damn powder. I used a lot, holy shit. That was my bad. A total user error on my part. I went, <laughs> whoops. Apparently I'm going to audition for Cirque du Soleil today <laughs> with this thick ass character makeup. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. Where am I going? <laughs> Let's do the rest of my face, actually. I'm gonna grab that same powder. I have to get some more. Press it on. Okay. Then with a with a look like this, I like to give my face a little bit of bronze. I feel like bronze with something like this, or at least just a deeper makeup addition, I feel as if the warmth to your skin makes this flow a lot nicer into your face. So if you feel as if the colors that are on your eyes are way too intense, throw on a bit of bronzer to sort of soften the blow of it. You know, I, it's the best way I can describe it. I mean, I'm just a fan of bronzer anyway. I wear it a lot just because of my skin on my body. There's so many different colors on my body, like drastically different. Like from this, you could even see it here, how light I am down here to how dark I am up here. Mm. So 
eye pack on all the different shades because I need to match my body somehow and this is the only way I can do that. And I will take a lot of bronzer and just fan it all the way out. So you do it here, but then you take the brush and sort of just everywhere. So that way, see how it just, it's not gonna get rid of the intensity of your eyeshadow, but it's just going to go, okay. It just looks a little more, uh, I don't wanna say cohesive, but in a way it kind of is with your whole face. It's like a nice little bridge between, you know, today's look is Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call this editorial. I don't think I would get hired if I was looking, if I, if someone was looking to hire this, I don't know, it depends on the look really. Editorial is a bit more put together in a way, not in a way, in a lot of ways. It's more put together than this, but thank you. I appreciate all the compliments given to me, yes. A little here, a little here. I feel better in this look though than I did in yesterday's look, which was very surprising. I think it's because yesterday's look really bothered me. It was such a hard thing to do for whatever reason. You love it, especially this year. Thank you. I like this. Like as I'm putting my face makeup on, I'm like, I can get down with this. I'm not gonna lie, in real life, this shit's fucking intense. <laughs> like, looking at this. You know what? I mean, if I worked at MAC, I mean, sure, if I worked at a beauty store, but this is kind of really cool. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so let's continue on. I'm not gonna be using eyeliner today because the look is so vibrant and so beautiful. Um, doing an eyeliner can throw it off completely. If you needed to tight line, I would say tight line. Um, I don't feel like I need eyeliner for this though because the colors are so vibrant, they're so, you know, rich. It supports my eyes on their own, you know? So I'm just gonna do mascara. In the event if I feel like I need to tight line, then I will after mascara. But I don't think I really need it, to be honest. Um, it's just a great look. A standalone look and I know it's gonna blow your mind what no eyeliner yeah you don't have to wear eyeliner every day unless you have really big gaps in between your lashes then I would say no but if you do have gaps yeah a good tight line why not but I wouldn't I would, I would tight line with like a dark brown, to be honest. I wouldn't even do a black. It's too harsh. I have been on a live. Oh, and I have been on a live in a second. I'm go loving the haircut. Very Chicago, the musical. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes, it's very Belma Kelly, right? I, I, I chopped my hair. Stay away from the scissors, ladies and gentlemen. Stay away. Stay away. Your hairdressers will beg you. <laughs> um, yes, mascara. I was thinking if I want to do my brows first, but yeah, we'll do mascara first, why not? And I'm also debating what type of mascara to use. Um, you could go super dramatic with the mascara, which I think I will do today. Um, or you can just do very natural if you want it, just the eyeshadows to show. Um, Yeah, no, I don't need any fillers. Okay, I'm just double checking to make sure I don't want a tight line, but no, you're fine. So, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. If this had been a little bit more sheer, you know how I usually do my makeup very, very sheer? Um, I probably would have tight lined just so that I didn't look sick. But because these colors are so intense, that's why I'm like opting out. Yeah. Of course, now I have to be like super careful that I don't get mascara on my eyelid.
Yes. that do you see how like by adding just a little bit of darkness this look is starting to go <gasps> an eyeliner would would hide everything it, it would ruin all of your work because you've spent so much time and eyeliner would have just masked it completely an owl thank you i love owls I think my mascara is drying. So how's your coworker dealing with week three of having you home? My coworker is dealing with this ex extremely well. He's very annoying. All he wants to do is play. Well, he's not here. All he wants to do is play. For the love of God, I can't just sit there and like watch Netflix. I have to be playing on the floor, which is hurting my body. Like I need to be on my couch, yet I end up spending time on my floor because all Mason wants to do is play. And so I usually play with this like weird stick. So he used to, you know those like, when you have a cat, you know there's those, those little stick stringy toys it's like a long stick and at the end of the stick has a string with like feathers at the end. Well, he destroyed all the feathers. He like ripped them completely off. So now all that's left is a st stubby little nub of a plastic piece that connected all the feathers together. Loves it. It is his favorite toy. And I bought him many toys. He wants to play with the plastic nub. <laughs> okay. So I, he likes to chase it. He likes to hunt it down. So I'm usually on the ground with this stick acting like it's prey and my body is actually suffering from it. And I've noticed it yesterday that I'm having a harder time getting up off the floor because I'm spending too much time on it. So. But you know what? Mason needed this sort of thing to happen because I was starting to be convinced that my cat was um, feeling a bit of separation anxiety. Oh no, that was in front of my new glasses. Did I scratch them? It looks like a possible scratch. I better not have. These are my brand new glasses. These have that blue, blue light blocker. So I'm like, bitch, <laughs> even though they weren't that expensive. Because I shop on Zeddy. <sighs> Plug. <laughs> I'm late to the video, but this look is fierce. Loving it. Thank you, Brooke. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, mascara underneath? Yeah, actually, I think this needs a little mascara underneath. I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, this again. I don't normally wear mascara. I opt out of it because sometimes it's just annoying to have it on. kind of see. It brings it up a bit. This is actually for the first time my eyes are cooperating with me. Usually my bottom lashes, they just clump up and become just one.
<laughs> another reason why I never wear bottom lashes or bottom mascara. Corners just get so tangled up in each other. spot the same spot that was giving me trouble yesterday why should I did it it's only that part of my eye that always gives me the most trouble okay so let's do some brow I'm gonna do a color that's I don't want to fuck it up though. I have this color, it's very, very red, but I have a lot of it and I don't really use it, so I'm just going to use it now. You can't really see how red it is in here, uh, but out in public, it's kind of like, oh, fuck, it's a little too red for my taste. music's not too loud or anything, right? I always have that weird paranoid feeling that the music is like extremely loud. brows with a little light a lighter color than your hair cool beans cool beans cool beans and then I'm gonna go in with a darker shade So there's a little bit of balance there at the very ends. Yesterday my neighbors are having a party. Did I say that already? I feel like I already said that. It's just kind of like, dudes, come on. It's not the time, please. So if you get invited to a barbecue or a party, please stay your ass home. Can we just get over this shit already? Come on. Don't go nowhere. Please. Because I'd like to get back to work as soon as possible. Have I watched the entire Disney Plus catalog yet? You know what? I haven't. I have only been on Disney Plus once to watch Frozen 2. <laughs> I lied. Yesterday I watched Ariel's Beginning, which was an okay movie. But I just like the fact that I can see the mermaids more. I was like, yay, I like her sisters. They're so fun. So I watched Ariel's Beginning. It was really cute. I mean, it's a whatever movie, but... Any, any excuse to watch more of Ariel? Yes, 100%. But yeah, no, I've only watched Frozen 2 and Ariel. And then April 3rd onward is getting released. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, I love Outlander. Yeah, I just finished it. Ugh. It's so good. It's so good that I'm waiting for season four to get on Netflix. No, leave me alone. Um, I'm waiting for season four of Outlander. Is it already up? Is it available yet? Are they even filming? Is it over? 
I know nothing about what's going on with Outlander. Blush, blush, blush. I'm gonna do this like this. It's one of my favorite blushes, but it's about to... It's like a brownish blush. Bledgy circle is pretty good. You mean the circle? I, I think I'm gonna start that today, the circle. Nope, I'm lying. I'm going to clean today. Today's a cleaning day. I need to get into my back stock and reorganize the absolute shit out of my back stock. So I'm gonna use this. It has a little bit of blush on it, that's fine. This is like a brownish, blushy shade. And I love it. <laughs> Every time I use it, I'm like, no, <laughs> no. So old. It's so old, but you know what? I have not broken out from it yet. <laughs> Until I do, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it till it dies. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. Look how pretty. <laughs> but this color is called Otherworldly, and this came out a long time ago. <laughs> so. You're not going to find it anywhere. <laughs> if I ever became popular on the internet and I was asked to do a collection with MAC, I would demand that they bring this color back. That would be, this would be my collection. 150%. Oh, Bletchy Circle is the code breaker woman post-war. Oh, I've never heard of that. Interesting, a post-war. Am I into, am I, am I... Do I want to, maybe. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use Strip Down as a liner before I decide what color I'm gonna put on my lips. I think more than ever, this is a look that I would typically promote just a lip balm. But, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens when Strip Down. Oak and Strip Down are my favorites um, when it comes to like brown lip liners. Just a little color in a bit. I haven't watched Vikings. Is that on Netflix too? I only have Netflix and Disney Plus. I think I have somebody's Hulu. I think I do have, I need to sign in to see if that works for me. But someone gave me their password and account. Um, I just, I'd never actually used it. So I wonder if it still does. You only have Netflix? Okay, cool. What did you just say? Vikings, okay. Is that a good one? Strip down. Let me move this out of the way so you can get better color. I love strip down as a lip. Strip down is just like perfection. So now that I'm seeing the makeup, the cheeks, and the lips, I feel like you could almost go like a nude coral, gore but yummy men. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> um, you could definitely do like a nude lipstick, right? Like a brownish lipstick. But even the, like a coral shade would be really pretty with this. Just looking at this. Um, I wouldn't go like a plum or straight pink. Pink wouldn't be so bad though. Like a nudie pink. Let me see if there's a nudie pink. Do I have a nudie pink? I don't know if I think so, but let's see. So this is one of my drawers, a bright pink lip. Mm. 
wasn't. <laughs> How to make Lana feel uncomfortable. Like see, like a nudie pink. It wouldn't be horrible. Just throwing this on top of, what is this? Nymphet. Oh, they don't make this anymore. Right? Or is it Enchantress? It's Enchantress, they don't make anymore. Oh, that's such a beautiful gloss from MAC. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> like this one? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This would be, oh, it smells so good. You know when that MAC lip smell? It smells like marshmallow. Oh, oh, whoops, okay. Oh, this smells amazing. Okay. See, like a pink? Oddly enough, like I'm not mad at this. That's pretty. Like a floor Barbie pink, fluorescent. Oh, good girl. <laughs> I know what you mean though. Um, I have this Dose of Colors lipstick. In this container, it doesn't look very fluorescent. Oh, this color shade would look good too, actually. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. Girl. Whoa. This wouldn't be bad either. No, I'm not doing it. No. I want this to be semi-wearable. I don't want to look like a whore. This is brown. Why isn't... That's pretty. This is a really nice color. Look at this rose. Okay, rose. It says washing brushes. Oh, no. Go on. No. I don't want to No. This is pretty, too. If I'm gonna do this, I may as well just go fucking break. This is nice. I'm still looking. That's too much, you guys. No. <laughs> This is as bright as I'm gonna go, peeps. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see how we'll see how this looks before I decide completely. Yeah, I kind of like this. <laughs> um, this one is Devilish by Urban Decay. It's enough color. Okay, <laughs> you don't need to go crazy. There you go. Just a little sum. Pretty. Simple. Where's that color? That I was like. Oh, oh this is brand new. like super duper bright have your neighbors stopped having parties no someone had it yesterday someone had one yesterday was it this one no it wasn't this one there was one that was kind of bright too i'm gonna put just a little bit in, in the center just to see was it a cosas one this one this is it this is mine but it's not scraped right it's actually used yes it's actually used okay
girls. I'm not gonna go crazy with this damn lipstick, okay? <laughs> No, we're not in martial law just yet. <laughs> there we go. So you can get a feel for how intense this could look. Like this look is already a fucking look. To do the bright lipstick, listen, adding a little bit is enough for me. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not gonna mess with the brand new ones cause I don't know if I'm gonna eventually integrate these into the kit or not. Um, and when they're brand new, I just, I don't want to scrape them and it's a lot of work. So it's just, it's red. So I need to put this back in the red. Okay. So um, that's it. That's the look you guys. I did this in about a little longer. It took me a little longer to do this than yesterday. I think, right? I feel like, yes. Oh no, yesterday took longer. Um, it's got, it had to have, because I know it was on my eyes for a very long time. <laughs> so I hope you like this look. Um, a video how to party safely. I know, that's the, that's the video. Download Zoom and then have all of your friends download, excuse me, download Zoom. And then you all can party together on the internet because it's all video chat. So you can use your phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever allows like video chatting and then you can just have this huge thing and it ends up being like the more friends that are involved it's so fun <laughs> so download whatever video platform have a google party you could even have a facebook watch party like there's a lot of things you can do on the internet if you want to hang out you know like schedule if you can actually host your own party mind you by the way hey um so you know how we're all kind of cooking at home and we're eating at home or you can take delivery whatever whatever makes you feel better i, I would say just eat at home um schedule a day like maybe in a couple of days right like tomorrow maybe huh like, like two days give people time to prep and tell everybody at noon we are all getting together to eat you know have like a, a living room picnic party you know so you guys are all eating together oh my god how is drinking blah 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 long you're just talking and it ends up being so fun. <laughs> so, and you can be the person to host it. The thing is, is that a lot of people, they'll download these apps, you know, and they'll, they'll want to do it, but nobody will actually initiate it because then still comes the social anxiety of, you know, having to be the one to start it. So if you're the type of person who, you know, really wants to have that kind of interaction with people and you're kind of like, God, let's just do it. start it yourself you know and people will join they will get excited about it they will do it because there's nothing else to do <laughs> so yeah i recommend being the go-getter anyway if you liked what you saw today and i entertained you educated you open your eyes to or in colors at all whatsoever um please feel free to support my channel and i love you forever if you did by sending me a coffee coffees are just amazing it's like a tip for giving you tips on how to do XYZ so I will always appreciate a coffee and liking and subscribing is also another way to help me as a content creator because we get thrown into the mix yesterday I was told that my live was in a couple of recommendations to watch on YouTube which was really fun um, and yeah I think it's because I've been on this pattern of coming on at 11 Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So fit. so YouTube was like, here, <laughs> watch this video. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will see you all very, very soon. Love today's look. Have a great afternoon. Subscribe and hit the bell. Oh yeah, hit the notification icon. Yes, please. And send coffees, because coffees are the ultimate way to be like, I love you. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm gonna get going. I need to do inventory. No, happy. I'm gonna do inventory. I'm gonna organize the back stock, which is a mess. It's just a bunch of makeup in containers. And as, far, as organized as they have to be, they're not. Like I have a container of foundations and all the foundations are just in there. I have a container of disposables and all the disposables are in 
so I need to go in and organize the absolute shit out of all of this and then realize what I am and what I'm not using. If you're a makeup artist, that is the time. Get your inventory straight. Look at those expiration dates. Makeup expires whether you open it or not. So open shit, smell it, look at it. What does the date say? Toss it, get rid of it. And so another tip that I wanna give you if you're a makeup artist, find a makeup artist friend, okay? You find somebody who does makeup and when it comes time to buy foundation, buy foundation with your makeup artist friend. Talk about what the both of you can do logistically as far as budget and go in half and half. Because when you buy a foundation, it's about one ounce worth of product. That's a lot of foundation. And what's gonna happen is you may not even go through it within a year, two years. And then all of that product goes to waste. It is money that you cannot afford to throw away. So when you go in half and half with the other artist, you guys can distribute the foundation into smaller bottles evenly and the both of you walk away with the foundation that you want at half the cost. And the amount of usage that you're getting is basically the same. So huge, huge thing to make friends and work your way into that. I'm looking at this more and I'm like, I kind of feel like I want to add a little bit like another color in the center, just a little sum. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave it alone. All right, I will see you all very, very soon. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.